Shalom. Let's say all praises due unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, the bonds to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a lesson I noticed on my uh, feed. Um, the IUIC uh, Bishop Nate this is uh, the damnation it says the beast principle right so um, you know I thought he's gonna I thought he's gonna you know go all out and said what the beast system is and what the beast is and uh, what the mark you know what it entails but uh, he, he fumbled, he fumbled, man. And, uh, you know, because he's already bought and paid for, you know, uh, you know, he's a Judas goat and uh, he's bought and paid for by uh, Rome, you know, by uh, modern day Roman Empire, right? So, uh, you know, um, you know, it's 2023. You know, and uh, he, he, like he didn't want to uh, really, you know, like break down the whole, uh, the whole definition or nothing, you know, about the mark and what it entails. And uh, you know, it doesn't really surprise me, you know, but uh, he has to be careful because you have blood on your congregation hands, and uh, you gotta know what you're doing. You know, you gotta tell our people the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. You know, he's just saying Christ. You know, he's not, he's not, he's not giving reference. You know, and honor unto the name of the Lord and of the, the name of Yahweh. You know, and uh, his Son. You know, uh, his Son Yahweh Shai. You know, he has no honor. You know, and. Uh, so the name of the Lord is a strong tower. It's so the righteous running, runneth in it and is safe. So, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, 2023, man, you, you better be careful what you're doing, man. So I'm going to just play this clip. Yeah, what the, your husband's deal with that. All right. Remember the mark of who remembers what the mark of God is. Raise your hand. The seal of God, the mark of God. Who remembers what it is? Raise your hand. It's an easy question. It's not hard. This, what's your rank? You got a purple shirt on you. Put your hand up. You're a soldier. Come on up. Tell us what the seal of God is. The mark of God. Come on. We ain't got all season. What's your name? He is green. Hello? Yep. Uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. What is the seal of God? Um, that's the mark of God. Uh, it's the laws. The laws. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you another question. It's an easy question. If the mark of God, the seal of God is the law, what is the mark of the beast? You see? So you see what he's trying to do? He's trying to, he's trying to twist up his congregation, right? Because Ezekiel... Ezekiel 9, all right, when you go into the uh, the Hebrew, all right, with Mark, it's going to say, Thawa. Ezekiel 9 and 4, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city and through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forehead of the man that sigh and that cry for all abomination that is done in the midst thereof, all right? And to the others, he said, in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. So that's the angels, you know, who's going to execute judgment, you know, throughout um, like Jerusalem, anywhere the Israelites are scattered and uh, who don't have the exemption from judgment. Right. So we're going to see Mark. Okay. It says, um. Thawa, a desire mark, a mark, a sign, an exemption from judgment, right? So it's not, you know, like keeping the laws, right? It's exemption from our judge, you know, from judgment that the Most High is going to reserve you to live and not to be killed, you know, through the time of a uh, destruction that's going to come upon our people. All right, so uh, he's... Uh, 
he's setting a stumbling block, you know, to uh, the members of his congregation. All right, this is the NLT. For he said unto him, walk through the streets of Jerusalem and put a mark on their foreheads on all who weep and sigh because of the, the, uh, of the detestable sins being committed in their city, right? And the city that we're living now, you know, is Babylon, America, right? Where, uh, you know, our people are uh, living, are inhabiting and, um, you know what they're doing with the whole uh you know with the young you know what they're trying to do they're trying to have uh you know drag teachers you know teaching uh you know the students and you know and all kinds of things man and uh the ultimate goal is to uh chip or see see hip everybody right and uh I'm going to make you guys play this and then uh, I'm going to get a couple of scriptures and uh, close with that. That's going to, I'm going to continue. That's sin. Oh, very good. Thank you. I thought you were going to say something else. I thought he was going to come out with a microchip. I said, if this guy yeah. comes out with a damn microchip. <laughs> now, I'm going to clear that up. You see, see, see this guy? He, see, he, he knows what he's doing, you right? Because you want to. Like you want to like deceive, you know, like your own congregation, man. And, um, you know, when this whole, when the C-HIP is going to be implemented and it's already being implemented, you know, through your grocery stores and stuff, watch. All right, let's see this. All right, this is, uh, you know, like this is basically, uh, it's lucky. Yeah. This says like digital CDC app is is coming to dot it is coming the dollar is uh done it's a digital future being prepared in your face right which is uh like this is um the whole food warehouse you know all throughout america and also here in canada you know mississauga and uh vaughn you know there's whole foods out here and uh you know and basically they're you know like they're pushing it so you won't be able to go into these stores eventually uh unless you have the c-hip all right so let's uh gonna play this quick Nathaniel, you know, you're you're basically leading your 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 sheep, like you're leading your congregation to the slaughter, all right? Because you're not warning them about uh, you know, the prophecy of Revelation 13, all right? And we're gonna get it, all right? But uh, he likes to scoff, all right? And uh, he's getting a lot of popularity, even more so through uh, you know, me social media and you know, with the whole the Kyrie Irving and uh. The whole uh, awakening, you know, and uh, he's getting a lot of, uh, you know, um, 
a lot of popularity you know with his uh with his congregation right but it's not about who's popular it's just about the uh, truth you know and uh you know and that's all it is right that uh you know and you and you're supposed to be warning your people of the of things that's gonna come but uh ultimately the lord's only coming for his uh a small few right of his elect or of his remnant right so uh you know so, you know anybody who's gonna listen to the, to this guy uh nate whatever you're just basically marking yourself you know to uh to death you know so that's we went over last week about digital currency, and you know Esau has plan A, B, and C. They might throw a microchip out there, but that's not the mark of the beast. Sin is the mark of the beast. Everybody got that? I hope y'all taking notes. Take notes, take notes. All right. <laughs> yeah, man, Nate's, yeah, Nate's just, he just, he just deceiving the people, man. And he's just a Jew, he's just a goat, man. A Judas goat, man, so. Uh, you know he has to repent man because uh you know because if you get the rfid chip in your arm or whatever you know that, that that i mean if that if you get the rfid chip in your arm nate you know like that means that you're not of the elect man so uh you gotta repent man you know let me get uh let me get revelation 13 and then i'm gonna close revelation 13 verse uh, 15 and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak right so we're in this beast system you know because the pagan Rem the pagan roman empire fell right but now uh, you know with um uh, you know the north atlantic treaty organization european union you know like they're back you know they're also um if you read about nato you know they had the, the treaty of rome i think was 1950 i think it was 19 i'm gonna get that you know just to uh make sure it's not like, yeah. treaty the Treaty of Rome. All right, this is uh, the apostles. You know, they emphasize, you know, this this history, man. Not uh, the Treaty of Rome. The Treaty of Rome, or E E E C Treaty, brought about the creation of the European Economic of the European Economic community it said the best known of the european of the european communities the treaty was signed on the 25th of march 1957 of belgium france italy luxembourg it said the netherlands and and it said west germany and it came into force on uh the first of january 1948 so you know we could do your we could do our research more because uh basically you know we're in uh you know we're in the roman empire all over again and uh you know they're basically uh you know they're basically at their at, like at their pinnacle and uh they're basically you know like they wanna tag everyone um and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed and he caused all both small great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark right in their right hand or in their forehead right so this mark when you go into the etymology all right all right it would be in uh the karak right or the karagma right a stamp imprinted mark you know that's gonna be you know and our law it says that we're not supposed to make no cuttings in our flesh in, in leviticus right so uh you know so what they're gonna do they're gonna brand you with a whole uh c-hip 
you know, technology in your flesh and it's gonna be uh, imprinted in you. And uh, we see what they're doing with the narrow link and all that. It marks uh, stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the f following of the Antichrist. Right? Well, cause there's going to be many Antichrists. All right, and uh, you, Nate, Nate, man, you have to s make sure that uh, you know you, you you warn our people of the right thing because basically, when it's going to be too late, you know, they're going to be it's going to be too late, and uh, a lot of our a lot of those. A lot of people in that congregation is going to get to see him, man. But, um, you know, I saw you, you know, bro, you, you, like, you really have to repent, boy. In the end of the day, it's all the Lord's show. And, uh, you know, because if you get to see him, if you got it already, man, you know, it, it, like, means that you're not of the Lord, right? So, so let's see, man. Um, and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name all right so you're gonna you're gonna submit you know to this whole system all right to uh you know to their image you know with uh basically you know this whole system this is run by the rome you know the pagan rome all right the re uh you know roman 2.0 rome 2.0 basically you know with uh nato and european union right the treaty of rome here's wisdom let him that have understand and count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and the number is 603 score and six so when you go into that six you know when you go into the greek like the greco etymology of the of the six is kaisai stigma all right so uh you know it says um an obsolete letter as a cross of the greek alphabet goes into that you know, you know um, like that's why a lot of these symbols like Disney uh, all over um, the, the, the monster energy drink and you know there's always enchantments you know with that number you know with their symbols and uh, stuff um, you know and this is ultimately this is the Lord who's uh, gonna try the people on this earth, right? Let's get it. This is the Lord's mark, right? Six, and six, a mystical number. The meaning of the which is clear when it is written in Hebrew, right? And goes into that. It's a Nero Caesar, sometime, you know. Pasatar believed that Nero, you know, Caesar is, pro you know, is, uh, you know, is in his re in his past life, it was Nero Caesar. You know that basically, you know, he believes that um, Donald Trump in his past life was Nero Caesar. <laughs> you know, so, so uh, this, you know, and like he's the one who destroyed. Uh, you know the Israelites throughout Rome, you know, and blamed it on the Jews, right? So uh, we're, uh, you know, 2023 is gonna get a lot more uh, severe and tense. So we gotta gird up our loins and uh, this is uh, Revelation 2 verse 10. For none of these things which thou shalt suffer behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison right so some of us you know who's not gonna be a part of this system this b system are gonna be cast into prison that you may be tried and you shall be 
we have tribulation 10 days so we don't know it's going to be 10 we don't believe that it's going to be 10 actual days it might be a a, a a certain amount of time you know until the lord you know he uh he's going to save some of us of his elect you know some of our people are going to die you know you know some of our people are going to die you know as martyrs as well so uh, behold faith it says be thou faithful unto death and i will give thee the crown of life so even if we die you know like we're gonna go right back to the father right and uh the heavenly father is gonna crown us you know and where we're gonna you know after this destruction you know when the lord's gonna come and you know he's gonna do the swift he's gonna do the uh He's gonna do the, the he's gonna do the sifting, you know, and the and the, and he's gonna cause a lot of, uh, you know, like when Yahweh shy, he's gonna judge, uh, you know, these, uh, you know, these Edomites and these these heathen, you know, because uh, you know Michael, he's gonna bring his, you know, Michael, you know, the archangel, who's gonna fight against. Uh, we're gonna fight against the beast, right? The dragon. Let's let me get Michael. Okay. Revelation 12, verse 12 and 7. And there was war in heaven michael and his angels fought against the dragon right so the dragon would be uh you know you know rome 2.0 you know you pagan roman uh empire you know who's back in power right through a uh, european union which is their uh which is their finance their finance stronghold and uh nato is their military stronghold throughout the uh the world right you know nato they uh you know canada u.s um well, a whole bunch of nato uh allies they're all edomites and this dragon fought against his angel right so you know esau is gonna bring out his uh his military you know to fight against the lord and uh you know and they're gonna bring you know his uh technology and and uh, you know which they're gonna lose you know and uh prevail not neither was their place found anymore in heaven and the great dragon was cast out the old serpent called the devil right so the serpent you know from the beginning you know when you uh read about you know a serpent who who beguiled eve and deceived adam or you know or no it's like a who beguiled eve and um uh, enticed adam you know uh you know that this is the same man called the devil and satan and but in which it said which the it says um which defeats said which deceive of the whole world he was cast out into earth and his angels were cast out with him right so uh, you know after this war man you know like you're gonna you know like you know like you're gonna build up our kingdom for a thousand years and uh you know um you read like obadiah right it says for uh it says for thy violence against thy brother jacob shame shall cover thee right so you know after your destruction man after a thousand years man there's gonna be no more uh you know like no more idumia no more e you know he's gonna be done away with man you know he's gonna fly away as a you know i think job 20 goes into that but with that let us all praise do unto y'all boss peace and blessings the whole from members of the election